Okey. Uh, for uh, exercise number 4. Okey. Um, the the claim given here is here. Okay, is there any difference between the mean yields? Okay, this is the claim that we need to test. So, uh, to translate this uh, sentence, okay, you can see that this is focused on mean. So, there are two uh, catalysts here that is uh, catalyst 1 and catalyst 2. And the uh, the keyword here is difference. Difference meaning that this is not equal. And since we have mu1, mu2, so we need to be careful because this is under difference between two means. For the difference between two means, okay, theta here we need to check either the theta under independent sample or dependent sample, mu d. Okay, so to check it, we can we can see uh, we can uh, look at the data set given here. We can see that the data set given the subject for data of catalyst one and catalyst two are independent to each other. There is no relationship between the subject in each catalyst. So that's why for this case that is under independent sample for the independent sample okay so now um, we usually we use the form of mu1 minus mu2 okay so um, transfer mu2 to the left side we will get here a new form that is mu1 minus mu2 this is not equals to zero and this is the claim okay so we write the claim here okay claim for this question okay so now uh, step one construct the hypothesis step one eh? so if, when we look at the uh, expression used in the claim you can see that um, the claim consists of unequal sign means that this is under h1 okay so construct the uh, hypothesis for null hypothesis eh? that is h now okay h now that is mu1 minus mu2 not equals to means that this is will be equal okay so now complete step one construct the hypothesis and state the claim so now we go to step two okay step two we want to choose the right hypothesis right test statistic for uh, parameter our parameter is mu1 minus mu2 so there are five Test statistic that we need to consider. Okay, so now to help us to choose the right uh, test statistic, okay, we need to look at the information given. Okay, so if we look at the information given, we have data set of catalyst 1 and catalyst 2 here. So based on this um, <coughs> data set, Okay, we can get um, data summary for each catalyst. We can get N, we can get X bar, and we can get S. Since this is sample data set, not population data set. Okay, usually when the question asks you, uh, tell you this is the population uh, data set, usually the question will mention this is the population data set okay then the next uh, information given that is the uh, assumption on the population uh, equality of the population variances okay assume the population variances are equal okay uh, equal 
Population variance denoted by sigma 1 squared, sigma 2 squared and since this is equal, so this is will be the same. Okay, so now based on the information given, okay, we can um, choose the test statistic. Okay, um, <clears throat> if you look here, uh, we have, okay, uh, <clears throat> x okay we have n x bar s for x bar and s uh, you need to use calculator okay to get the value from sample mean and sample standard deviation okay so now by looking at the information given we can see that population variance for both catalysts are unknown if unknown then we need to look at the population as uh, equality of the population variance is, is equal so that's why we need to calculate sp okay so now this is the solution we calculate sp simplify the value of sp for this month places okay and there are two formula consists of sp that is depends on the sample size both sample size are eight instead both a small sample size so we need to use t test okay and apply the formula for t test and simply simplify the answer at four decimal places so once we can get a, a test statistic value for step two so complete step two so now we go to step three step three we want to establish the test criterion so for this part the first factor is we need to look at the distribution used this that is t test so plot t distribution here okay so plot t distribution the next one that is identify the rejection region by looking at the inequality used in h1 that is not equals to okay since this is not equals to so there are two rejection region okay because of not uh, 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 two-sided case eh? two-sided test okay so we need to divide our alpha by two okay uh, so for the positive area that is minus uh, by using statistical table you can get t 0.025 with a degrees of freedom 14 so negative two point one four four eight for the first critical value for the second critical value that is two point one four four eight so <clears throat> once we can identify rejection region and critical value okay so we can um <clears throat> uh, so uh complete step three okay so now we go to step 4 to make a decision on Hashnal. To make a decision on Hashnal, we compare the value of the test here with the uh, critical values in step 3. We can see that this value, the test statistic value is lies in this area. means in between these two critical values. And then you need to write this in a proper form. Show that the value of the test is in between these two critical value. And since this t test lies on the acceptance region, so the decision is do not reject hash now. Okay? Do not reject hash now. So complete step 4 go to step 5 to make a uh, to make a conclusion for the claim so since uh, do not reject hash now okay do not reject hash now okay here is that okay do not reject hash now meaning that this is insufficient evidence to support the claim because claim is under H1 or we can say that there is no difference because equal there is no difference between the mean yields of catalyst 1 and 2 don't for in the conclusion don't forget your significance level okay you need to put a significance level here for the other question okay you can consult your lecturer okay um, uh, that's all for this 
for the topic 3.3.1. Thank you.